actually, when you look at the statistics of like production versus consumption, they nowhere near match up. Somebody's lying somewhere. China being the second largest producer of wine. India consumes more Jim Bean than is ever produced in the US. I'm Jessie Baker, so I spend my whole life trying to help make product supply chains transparent. Today, when we buy products, there's a huge complex network of things going on behind the product before it gets into our hands or in our tummies. Like nobody knows where stuff's coming from um, and it becomes incredibly difficult to know what the social and environmental impacts behind our product. What we try to do is create like these digital passports for products that essentially allow the data to cascade through the supply chain in a trusted way. Is there a future where uh, new technologies allow for identifying uh, whether a seed has been modified or where this artificial intelligence has yeah. been used or what procedures have been used oh, to definitely. grow certain fruits? Oh, absolutely, definitely. And also, I mean, DNA testing, right? It's, it's really plummeting in price to, to test the DNA of any living thing. Also, hyperspectral analysis, you know, where they look with like crazy cameras with algorithms at food sources to see how fresh it is or like where it was created. You can tell so much information just from the uh, looking at the thing. We worked with an amazing fishery in Indonesia who um, had done a lot of work to ensure that the fish that was caught in this fishery was slavery free. Was the fish you ate caught by a slave? But this fishery had a problem. All of the ships had been found guilty of illegal, unregulated and unreported fishing. In that uh, a few steps down the supply chain there were 12 different factories who were buying fish from all over the region to make uh, canned tuna, sashimi. And th these fish were meant to come with these certificates but they were getting photoshopped, photocopied, everything. We worked with this fishery in order to create a program of digital certificates for the fish that sat on a blockchain which meant they couldn't be duplicated. So you just have one certificate per batch of fish that the fisherman could register easily with a simple SMS. You know, the next guy in the supply chain, who might be a guy on a moped, could come pick up the fish from the fisherman, scan a QR code and say, right, I'm taking your four fish. And the fisherman will go, okay, yes. And it formed a kind of digital handshake. So you get this bottom up method of tracking fish peer-to-peer -peer without the need of a big top-down centralized authority that knows everything about all of the fish. And I really hope that, uh, you know, with consumer pressure, with businesses that are trying to pioneer a new way of doing business, where being transparent is the norm. A future that rocks at the intersection between food and data is one in which our product supply chains are transparent. So we can all be citizens rather than consumers through the things we choose to eat.